For Seattle Seahawks punter John Ryan and his family from Regina, Saskatchewan, this must feel like deja vu all over again. For the second straight year, the Seahawks are playing in the Super Bowl, and for the second straight year, the Ryan family will be in attendance. John Ryan's brother, Steve, joins me now from Phoenix, Arizona. Thanks for joining us. How, Thanks for having me on. How excited are you today? Uh, very excited. I mean, um, we thought last year would be a once-in-a-lifetime thing, and to be back here again, and uh, this year we're just uh, excited and nervous and uh, anxious to get the to get the game going. What's the best thing about being there, watching your brother? Um, it's uh, it's a lot of nerves and a lot of excitement and uh, a real roller coaster to be there. So I mean, it's it's incredible when they win, and it's it's heartbreaking if they don't. But it's. Um, it's just we're we're just so proud to be to be here to watch him, and it's just uh, just a, a little still surreal to to see him on this stage uh, out there kicking. Yeah. Now during the Seahawks' last game two weeks ago, your brother became the first punter to throw a touchdown in an F NFL playoff game, and it sparked an incredible comeback. Uh, you were at that game. What did you think of that? It was uh, it was incredible. I mean, I was. Uh, I definitely wasn't expecting that play call. Um, I mean, I've, I've seen I've seen John. Uh, I mean, playing catch with them since we're five and seven years old. So I knew uh, I know what kind of athlete he is. I wasn't surprised he was able to execute it, but I was uh, I was certainly surprised at the play call. And when it uh, when it worked, I was just uh, in total joy, jumping and screaming in my seat. And it was uh, it was an incredible moment. You mentioned you played catch with him when you were younger. Do you take any of the credit for? Uh his now Super Bowl status? Um, I, I, I'd like to take the credit, but I can't. I mean, uh, John, put in, John put in a lot of hours to, to get where he is, and uh, um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take all the credit when I talk to him, but uh, I, th I think we both know that's not, that's not accurate. Exactly. It's kind of like ribbing that brother that you have, right? That's right, yeah. <laughs> He's pretty popular in Seattle right now, but your whole family is also being celebrated in Regina this week. You were on hand when the city raised a flag in honor of the Seahawks, and we're seeing some of the pictures right now. How did that feel? Oh, it was really cool. I mean, uh, the city has just really rallied behind behind John. I think, I mean, Regina's kind of the biggest small town and that everyone has some sort of connection to one another. And, um, and I mean, people all kind of feel a connection and ownership with John that's, that's just really, really neat and unique to Regina. And, um, I mean, everyone, whether it's they played hockey with him as a kid or their hair, their best friend cuts his hair or whatever it may be, everyone seems to have some connection. And uh, whether people are Seahawks fans or not, um, it seems the ones most people are rallying behind John and, uh, and really supporting him, and it's been really cool. Yeah, it's really nice to see it happen to our Canadian fella. And through it all, your brother seems pretty grounded. The big game is in Phoenix, where your brother came to practice before he was in the NFL, and where he lived out of a motel. Tell us about that. Yeah, when... Um John had played uh, in the in the CFL, and it, it was kind of becoming. I mean, it had always been a goal of his, I think, in the back of his mind. But to play in the NFL had seemed seemed more realistic, and so um, he came down here in the off season and lived uh, at a Motel Six or Super Six, and uh, went to a base a kids baseball field and would kick in the outfield and train here so that that he could uh, he could kick all winter and lived off a pretty modest uh, CFL off season budget I'm sure he wasn't the uh, best budgeter in season for a, a 23 year old or whatever <laughs> he was kid at the time so he he wasn't living off a, off a big budget here and he was just uh, just training and doing all he could to reach his dream and pretty cool that he made it yeah good for him and okay so tonight they're gonna win we're just gonna say it because yeah. we're cheering for him here uh, how are you yeah. guys gonna celebrate after well um, last there's a family in players party and last year was uh um it was really neat i mean it was uh all the players and their families and they had uh, uh macklemore performed last year and it was uh just an, an incredible incredible celebration so um i know i know the party goes on win or lose so hopefully it's uh it's a good one again uh, again this year